So first of all, we need to also understand the concept of namespace. What is namespace? So let's talk about namespace in CDS. A namespace define a unique name for our group. So what is a group? Group is used to group the objects like views, tables. So we can use the namespace. It also marks, gives uniqueness to the project. For example, in my company, we have two cap projects. One for finance, and one for HR. Both projects coincidentally need to have employee table. But the employee data in finance will be different because it's a different department altogether. And employee data in HR will be different. So in my case, I would want employee table to be created in both finance and HR department separately manage separately but we need to make sure that it is uniquely defined across the different projects we don't want conflict in the names when the table employees created in database database should not come and say that the employee table already exists how do we achieve this it's a very common requirement that coincidentally yes it might so happen that two projects might have same name of tables but in database as you know table names cannot duplicate so what's the solution the solution is sap provide the concept of namespace so using the namespace at runtime each artifact which is generated has concatenated namespace yes so that way what will happen your table name will be unique so what you do is you will put one namespace finance and under that you will define your entity employee employee table then you have another namespace hr and you will define again the entity employee at runtime, what will happen? The finance table will be look like finance underscore employee. And HR will be HR underscore employee. So both the tables at runtime in the database will have different name and not cause any name conflict. So this is why we use namespace. Apart from the namespace, we also have another concept called context. Another concept called context. What is context? Context also does the same thing. So while creating database object, we also have context. It is used to describe additional category of data. Example, transactional data, master data configuration data org data what type of data it is <clears throat> we can use context so when you're creating orders table it is recommended to use context as transaction so at runtime the database table name which gets created will have the name as transaction orders So this way your table name will remain unique and as a developer you can go back and check okay this table belongs to transaction category that's another kind of a category grouping which we can do so these are the two concepts which we need to also use while working with the database tables in the cap framework